right, well, here we go. This is number four in the Godzilla Monsterverse. Or, well, the Monsterverse. Anyways, because, you know, King Kong's in it too. But, um, yeah, this film was directed by Adam Wingard. Uh, we have Millie Bobby Brown coming back to reprise her role from Godzilla King of the Monsters. Kyle Chandler is back in this as her father, although his role has been diminished. And I was kind of bummed about that because I really like him and I wish there would have been more of him in the movie. But he's great. Uh, Alexander Skarsgård is introduced in this as a scientist with the Hollow Earth Theory. And uh, yes, there is Hollow Earth stuff in this, so people just rip this movie to pieces about how dumb it is and uh, how it just completely abandoned the realistic take of Gareth Edwards' quite boring 2014 movie. So there's a lot of division amongst the Godzilla fans concerning the MonsterVerse, and I don't get it. I don't understand why the fan base has to be so incredibly... Um, polarized concerning these films i don't understand i like them all with the exception of godzilla 1998 which i think is a giant steaming pile of crap but uh because it's not really a godzilla movie that's what i'm saying but i thought this was fun this was good i i enjoyed watching it you know the premise is giant primate fights giant lizard that's what it's advertised as and that's what it gave us it delivered on on what it was supposed to be and people complained about the the depth of the characters and how the shell the characters are shallow and they're not really like great or anything i mean just to be real the characters in godzilla 2014 weren't great either with you know the exception of brian cranston but uh i don't really care i don't watch godzilla films for the deep characters you know the engaging characters. Uh, there's very few movies in the Showa era that had that. All right? There's not a lot. You know? Godzilla vs. the Astro Monster is probably one of my favorite of the Showa era films. Um, you know, the Heisei era? Where are the, where are the deep characters from the Heisei era? Where are they at? They're not there. I don't know what people are complaining about. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I think that the fan base is just, they they just, they, they got problems, man. So I don't want to talk about the fan base. This movie's great. You know, it's probably my second favorite of the MonsterVerse films behind uh, Kong Skull Island. If I had to rank them, it would be Kong Skull Island number one. This would be number two. Godzilla King of the Monsters would be number three. And then Godzilla 2014 would be last. By a long shot, it would be last. I like the goofy direction that the series went in, and it turned a lot of people off. And I don't care. You know, I, I, you know, they call this the equivalent of a kid getting their toys out of the toy box and smashing their action figures together for two hours. That's fine by me. My life is pretty stressful, and sometimes I do just want to turn my brain off and watch something completely stupid. Are we not allowed to have fun? Why does everything have to be Citizen Kane? I understand that people want movies that have depth, right? That are thought-provoking and challenging. But Godzilla's never been that. That's why I like Godzilla films. Is I don't have to sit here and think about what I'm watching. It's... Giant lizards fight giant gorilla. End of story. So there you go. I don't know what else to say. Uh, Rebecca Hall was in this. She was pretty pretty good as well. Um, boy, I, I, I don't know what to tell you people. I mean, I'm going to go watch Godzilla and Kong, New Empire. Probably sometime. Probably won't be this weekend because I have to work, but I'm going to try to catch a matinee show probably on Monday and give my thoughts on that. Now, so that concludes my review for the MonsterVerse. Uh, one more thing, I'll just give an update on what I'm reading. I'm going to have a couple book reviews coming up. The Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card won the poll that I put up, so I started reading that the other day. I'm finishing up a Civil War biography. I've got about 
50 pages to go in that. So that'll be coming up. So there'll probably be two book reviews next week. And plus the review on the movie. And as always, the Prisoner podcast rewatch. or the No, it's not a podcast. But the Prisoner rewatch will be uh, continuing on Mondays. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.